management of the tridoshas which procedure is effective and what drevya has to be used to manage the tridoshas welcome to yet another shloka under the world as doshas so today the shloka of the week i'm going to discuss about the management of the tridoshas yes uh, you may call it uh, treatment yes so we have seen uh, the uh, tridoshas its qualities and where it is spread and all those things you know so here we are going to discuss about in general okay how to manage the tridoshas and what are the best treatments for tridoshas including what is the best dravya or substance you can use to balance those tridoshas this shloka is also from ashtanga hrida first chapter the 27th shloka where the management of tridoshas have been mentioned beautifully by acharya vagbhata let us get into the shloka sharira janam doshanam kramena param aushadham vasti vireko vamanam tatha tailam ghritam madhu okay you can see the transliteration sharira janam doshanam kramena param aushadham vasti vireko vamanam tatha tailam ghritam madhu okay so in this shloka sharira janam doshana ja means sharira ja ja means which comes out okay jananam so which which gives which comes out from the sharira so sharira janam doshana the doshas of the body kramena paramaushadam in in order okay what order is vata pitta kapha what is the parama aushadam what is the best treatment and medicine that is what the first line says so that's what we are going to see so sharira janam doshanam the the doshas of the body for the doshas of the body in the order of vata pitta kapha what is the best approach as far as treatment goes and medicine goes okay so this is what so let us see the meaning of it for all the doshas of the body sharira the best treatments and medicines are now let us go back vasti vireko vamanam that means kramena you saw that right that means in order vasti is um, i don't want to call it enema but uh, the medicine is given through the uh, anal canal to the rectum uh, so we can understand it as medicated enema okay that would be a better way of putting it okay we introduce medicines so that is vasti vireka is basic introducing or uh, you know what making a person go through soft loose motion so inducing diarrhea is actually vireka and vamanam is inducing vomiting so uh, vasti or medicated enema is the best treatment for vata and virechana or inducing loose motions is the best for pitta and inducing vomiting is the best for kapha okay so the best treatments are vasti virechana and vamana and the best medicine is taila ghritam madhu taila is oil sesame oil ghritam is ghee it is cow's ghee and madhu is honey okay so when you look at how you have to manage okay the tridoshas you have to do vasti for vata when when the when it is uh, vata predominant you have to do vasti for vata when it is pitta predominant you have to virechana and when it is kapha predominant you have to do vamana and the dravya which you have to use is uh, taila for vata ghrita for pitta and madhu for kapha okay little bit into depth for you to understand so shodhana karmas is what has been mentioned here 
okay so other treatment methods and medicines are also effective and that depends upon the condition so when you look uh, uh, might be a, f a few weeks back we had uh, we had discussed about where the vata pitta kapha is in the sense if you draw a line between the umbilicus and the heart below the umbilicus is vata between the umbilicus and the hridaya is pitta and above the hridaya is kapha so does that strike a bell you know there you should see that when it is below the umbilicus below the umbilicus so you have to only remove it from there that's why we give vasti okay we give the medicine from the bottom okay now pitta is between the umbilicus and the hridaya so that is where the uh, stomach and all the other things are there so what do you to clean that you have to give a purgation so pitta is cleansed so, kapha is above the heart so if you have to remove something from above the heart you have to make the person vomit so that is the logic behind vata pitta kapha and vasti virechana and vamana and the best medicines are taila ghritam and madhu so for treatments when you when you diagnose a, a disease and you understand which dosha it is predominant you can apply that treatment and that dravya in that condition thank you